Hello friend, welcome. Today I'm going to show you 0 into 5 equals to 5. How? You, we all have studied that 0 into 5 equals to 0. But now I'm going to show you 0 into 5 equals to 5. And 5 into 0 equals to 5 into 1 equals to 0. This today's topic is this one. Yes, this is true. This is true, 100% true. Now, you cannot believe on mathematics is wrong. Mostly 2 plus 2 is 5. I have already did in last chapter, last classes. So today you are going to, as I did in last class, we are going to prove to how it becomes. 0 into 5 equals to 5. And 5 into 1 equals to 0. This means 0 must be equals to 1. But how? How 0 is equals to 1? Well, now I am going to prove it. Let's see, minus 20 equals to minus 20. Okay, now come to see. Minus 20 means you can write 60 minus 36. This side, 20 minus 20 means 25 minus 45. Is this okay? Right, yes. Now it comes to this one. 16 equals to 4, 4 square minus 36 equals to 9 into 4, 36. 2 to cancel. Okay, now we add plus 9 by 2 whole square means we subtract here. To balance the equation. Okay, now come to this part, this side, right hand side. 25, 5 square. 45, 9 into 5, 45. 2 to cancel. Okay, now we add 9 plus 9 by 2, whole square, then we subtract it to make the equation balance. Now the equation is balanced already. Okay, now we come to the second step. We can we see this, this, this almost looks like a square minus 2ab so we can write it a for number to b whole square okay and now it comes to this part as it is i have written here now come to right hand side again this a minus b a minus b whole square means a square minus 2ab plus b square it's all clear and I write this as it is. Okay. Now come to this part. This minus 9 by 2 whole square and this side minus 9 by 2 whole square. If minus 2 this side minus 2 this side is what we do. Minus this goes to this side means it becomes plus. Plus and minus cancel. So we cancel this either you know, this step. Now we get 4 minus 4 by 4 minus 9 by 2 whole square and like that. Okay, we get Okay. Now is what as it is I have written here. This is whole square, this is whole square. So raise raise both side both side by one by two. Okay. So two into one by into one by two. So two to cancel, two to cancel. Now 4 minus 9 by 2 is here. Again 5 minus 9 by 2 is here. Now again this is same, this is same. Minus minus. So we cut it. Because it's a minus, it goes to right hand side, we become positive. Positive 9 minus 2 and negative minus 9 minus 2 is cancelled. Okay? That means 4 equals to 5. What does this mean? 2 plus 2 equals to 5. As we did in last topic, last chapter you can get, you can find this in last video as I did. Okay, now 4 equals to 5. So we can write it 0 plus 4 equals to 5. If we add any number with 0 means, it becomes same number, so no difference. So now 0 equals to how much? 5 minus 4, that is 0 equals to 1. Here, 0 equals to 1 is proved. If 0 is equals to 1, of course we put here 0 equals to 1. Instead of 0, we can put 0 either 1 or 0. So that is 1 into 5, 5. 5 into 1. If you put, if you replace 1 by 0, means 5 into 0 becomes 0. So it is proved. Okay, okay, this is almost true. 
Or it's totally proof. If any mistake you find, you can refer to me, you can contact to me. Thank you, thank you very much. First, first I want to first introduce me myself. I'm just introducing you in last. Okay? I am Neeraj Kumar Singh, studying in Linka in Malaysia. I'm from Nepal. I'm doing computer science. Next time I will show you how to make a robot, how to program it. But before that, I have a lot of things to show you. Okay? About regarding mathematics, basically a lot of, lot of wrong things. Okay? Don't be confused. Let me refer to me. Okay? Bye. See you. Tata.